everyone. I want a hippotamus for Christmas. That's all I'm going to sing because I'm not sure on YouTube copyrights how much I can do with that song. But let me explain how I came up with this. I was having lunch with some good friends uh, the other day, kind of our little monthly you know, it was our Christmas lunch. And I was talking about how when I send cards, sometimes I wonder, do they get taken the wrong way? And I have this set. It was one of those freebie deals. And it's hippos. And I said, I haven't used it because I don't want someone going... So what are you saying? I'm big as a hippo? Or, you know, you don't want someone to get offended or hurt. So I haven't used it. Then my good friend Kim goes, well, I guess they'd have to like, if there's someone who likes hippos, maybe like that song, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. And I go, ding, ding, ding. You gave me an idea. I can use it for a Christmas card. So there you go. So today I'm going to do this one. Uh, and I use, it takes a village to do cards as well. Uh, I'm using, obviously, Hippest, hip, hippest Hippo. I use the Penguin Place for the little hat for my hippo because you don't want it, you don't want her to get cold. Uh, and then I used uh, this one for my sentiments, which is Holly Jolly Wishes. I put on the inside, I put Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. On the outside, I have Jingle all the way so i just thought that was a cute little fun the song is so fun that i just thought this would be a cute and i used a wobbler i don't know if you can see and she moves on the she walks she she'll dance you know so there you go so i thought that was fun and festive thank you kim sandy everyone who sitting there talking about the hippos uh, set and different things we we're talking about and Kim mentioned the song and though there you go I've got an idea so let me quit yapping and get to working and show you how I put together this card and, and I really it I don't know just something about it, I really do like it um, so let's get together here start getting this together and let you see now my base of course and this is a standard um, a standard card base you can measure it. It depends on what size. If you want to do bigger, if you want to do a slimline uh, card, which is longer. And I thought that would be kind of cute because you could have multiple hippos dancing. Actually, that was a really good idea. I might do another version of this later uh, with a slimline with them and have one dancing in her little tutu uh, and have her on a wobbler with her with her peppermint like this lady is. So, you know, she's got her little peppermint and I'll show you what I did to get the peppermint later. Uh, but this, I'm gonna go ahead and put this, this is our bottom layer. I like this pattern. I thought it looked really cute with all of our, our hip hippo stuff. Let's get this bottom layer on. Don't look at my table. I have mess everywhere. Trying to finish Christmas cards, get Christmas cards mailed out, which is a whole different chore. And on top of all your other Christmas things that you have going. So let's see, let's get him down. Well, let's see. We actually have a piece of our ribbon. This ribbon, this, I have it in green and red, and it's, I don't know if I've said this before, it's like this miraculous, it's like the oil in the Bible that never ran out. Uh, this ribbon, I've had it for years. I, I, I bought it on Amazon, it was two big, two big little reels of it, um, of, of each color. So I had like two of each, and they literally last, I use them every Christmas, and then the, during the year even, I use them for different settings, if it's like a country or farm kind of setting. And honest to goodness, I still have a ton of it, but that's okay, because I'll keep using it. I love it for the Christmas time. And uh, anyway, just telling you a little tidbit there. It's like, okay, let's see if we can get this here. Let's, let's see. He needs to come this way a little bit. Give me a little more this way. There you go. Okay. See if we can glue him on here. All right, let's see how that looks. We'll kind of straighten him out a little bit there. Okay, now we're going to put him on the card. And that'll be done. Okay, now uh, let me stick him down. Let's see, he needs to get a little tighter on the ribbon there. 
there we go. Put him on the base there. Okay, now, and I've already on the inside to save time. I did use, like I say, uh, this Holly Jolly Wishes. We have a Holly Jolly Christmas, so we've got him. Now, we're gonna do our next layer. And here's what I did for my Christmas trees. I have two trees on here. So what I did was I just took some patterned paper. Again, I've got lots of this pattern. Same thing, I don't know that it ever runs out. And just kind of line them up so it looks like it's like in the middle there. Make it look intentional like that's the pattern I'm going for. And we'll do the same thing here. There we go. Got my two Christmas trees. Now, what I want to do is uh, I want to stamp my sentiment, but I want to make sure because I noticed here it's a little bit off-centered and kind of hiding behind the tree, and I want it, I need to move it over a little bit, in other words, on this one, so it's not, so you can get the full effect of Jingle all the way. It's not kind of hiding in the shadow of the tree. I know, it's kind of weird. I just think, I think of all these things. I think what I'll do is cut a little bit more off of this guy, if I can find my cutter. I feel like he's a little too big. So, let's see. Of course, when I do this, and I end up cutting too much off. Story of my life. Okay. Well, see, and see what I did? I messed him up. Should have just left him. Now, let's see if we can do this again. Like I say, construction paper is always a little iffy because it will kind of get, uh, it'll start shredding a little bit. So here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. Now, I've got my trees. Let's go ahead and we're gonna stamp our Jingle All The Way sentiment. Oh, did I lose my candy cane I just had? Hopefully not. Okay, sorry, I got sidetracked. I cut me a candy cane out already, and I can't see him, and he's little, so he's going to oh, we're going to find him. All right, let's do Jingle all the way here. I'm doing this a lot because I need to re-ink my red, and so I just want to make sure it comes out not too faded. Okay. I'm going to do about right here, I think. That way, give me room to put. I'm gonna call her Greta Hippo. How about that? <laughs> I don't know why Greta. Or how about Hilda Hippo? Or Hildy Hippo? I don't want anyone to get upset that I use their name for a hippo, so maybe we won't give her a name just yet. Um, okay, let's see. We're gonna secure this down. Let's put him on his base, his layer. It's kind of, my cards are kind of like uh, going outside in cold weather. You layer up. I like to layer up on my cards. Now I'm going to stick this here. Let me, I'm going to again put my trees to kind of see where they line up. And let's see where, oh, where's my hippo girl? I got her cut out too. I got so much mess here, y'all. Okay. Where is she hiding it? I don't want to have to do another one that makes y'all have to sit and watch. Alright, hold on. Here she is. I knew it. She was hiding. So I think she'll go. Well, now I'm starting to think. Okay. I want to make sure that you get the full effect of her too. Okay, maybe we'll put this up like this. That way the trees are at the bottom and she's up here just dancing away in her little tutu. Okay, let's go ahead and stick him down. Okay, here we go, here we go. I 
think she'll be good there. I'll go ahead and put these little trees right about here for this one. I think that works. It might be that we do one tree. I don't want, you don't want her to be up here and then when you close your envelope on her, her little hat gets smushed. I could do two trees on this side. See, that's the fun thing about this is if you don't like it one way, you can do it another way. This one, it worked out okay to have the two separated, but I think on this one, we're gonna put them together. Kind of like this. Maybe not quite the same exact height. Well. Okay, I think that's good. All right, now I use dimensionals on them. I like dimensionals for sure with Like I say, my trees, all I did was take the punch, put it on the paper. You could use solid color, pattern, whatever. Um, that's one of those punches, a Christmas tree punch, and different ones like that um, are a good investment because you will use them. As long as there's Christmas, there's a chance you're going to do a Christmas tree, and you'll, you'll use that punch. So, now, let me show you. What I did basically was I took our hippo girl. Let me put Jingle all the way back over here. So I don't lose. If I don't, I will lose them. And not my word is next time. So I took my little hippo girl, my ballerina hippo girl, and stamped her on paper, of course. You see all my scraps? Uh, I stamped it and then used the different markers. Some of them are blending markers. Some of them are Stampin' Right markers. Uh, it just, whatever colors I figured worked out okay for her is what I used. I used, uh, I believe it was uh, the light gray for her snout and then the darker one for her actual skin color or arms and legs and head. And then I did like a pink body and I used red and then the green, of course, for her skirt and shoes. Now, what I had did do and had thought about doing, I had cut out, if I can find it, I had cut out the skirt on a patterned paper and it was okay. I just I could never find a pattern that I was crazy about. I wanted it to really pop and all of mine Either the pattern is too big or not quite right for this small, slim area. So I just went with her uh, colored, her green and red tutu, and then the hat. I touched up a little bit of it with the red uh, marker to kind of give a little bit more definition. And that's how I made Hippo Girl, long story longer. Now, I'm going to put her... I like her on a wobbler because I like for her to move. So we're going to put her on one of these. I don't use these a lot because you don't get a ton of them. And I can't remember how much they cost on Amazon, but I know they're not, they're not cheapy for sure. So, um, but I thought she would be cute. I think I am going to start using them more just because I just think they do add a lot. With the, the sweater one, my husband really liked the fact that it was on a wobbler. So you stick the wobbler on here on one side. We're going to undo the other and put her down. And then she can kind of dance on her own. Let's see if I can get the backing off here. Hope you guys are having a great holiday season. Uh, I believe they said today it's like 20 days from today's the fourth so yeah 20 days to christmas eve so see how she kind of she dances now if i can find her little candy cane i had cut for her if not i have to cut another one i thought on this one it looked cute that she was holding a candy cane and i have this 
candy cane paper because the stamp one that I had for candy cane it was like a lot bigger and I thought this was more size proportionate to her hand so of course I don't find him here because I got all kinds of stuff so I'm just going to cut up one out real quick while we're sitting here chatting okay and we're going to stick that because I want to show you I did have to cut it a little bit to stick in her hand and um I posted to me on Facebook the other day. I have a shirt with this exact same pattern and I had it on. And I go, hey, I matched the paper. That's pretty cool for me. Someone else might not like it, but I'm a Christmas nut. So, of course, I thought it was funny. Everybody else probably thought it was corny, but oh, well, I am who I am, right? Okay, now let me finish cutting out her peppermint stick, her candy cane. Candy cane. Don't know if y'all have ever seen that movie, Joyride, Candy Cane, the truck driver. Anyway, sorry, I got way off track on that one. Um, definitely not a Christmas movie. Okay, I'm going to finish, see if I can cut the candy cane up, cut it out without cutting all up the actual candy cane because he's a little bit small here. Okay, we're going to go with this because I don't want to keep. Now, I put, what I did was I put like a little slit on the candy cane to kind of slide it on her hand to make it look more like she was holding it uh, in that way. But that way, it wouldn't be like if you just stuck it on top, then it's just a candy cane laying on top of her hand. I overthink things just if you haven't figured that out yet but it'd be like a candy cane is like on top of her hand if you put it under well then it's kind of just laying under her hand but i wanted it like she was holding it and i think this kind of does that i'm going to put a little glue on the bottom so that you know if we send her to someone or if someone buys her the candy cane don't get lost in transfer in transporting or transition so all right let's see see so there's her little candy cane and she's dancing with her. She's got a candy cane for Christmas. Now, on this one, I put some gold stars, which I have had for a long time that I used years back. And I thought, well, we can put them on. Give her like a really special set of Christmas trees. And then... Of course, I'm going to pull out the doodads in a minute, so, you know me and the doodads, especially at Christmas, we're going to have some doodads. You need sparkly stuff at Christmas. Now, oh, see, here we go. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put our doodads, and we have another uh, Thinking Outside the Box Christmas card. It's so funny because, like I say, we watch a lot of Sesame Street, and their whole thing is trying to get kids to think outside the box which I love. I think that's fantastic. Um, but they, uh, you know, their whole thing is, I wonder, what if, let's try. And so I was with Baby Girl the other day and I just made the comment, I wonder, and she looked at me and I said, what if, let's try. And she thought that was cute. She smiled and laughed at that. It's all about making them smile, y'all. I'm going to try to put little doodads on, well, his star decided to stick to the paper underneath. Let's see if we can get him up there. There we go. So this is another one. I'm just trying to think of ways that you could make Christmas cards with sets that you might have that you wouldn't think necessarily are Christmas. Um, you know, someone might not want to go out. I always am drawn to Christmas sets. And when I first started kind of doing this, that was really all I had. I bought because I would always buy Christmas sets. And, um, but some of them might be opposite. They might be like, I know I'm not really keen on Christmas. So you could use what you have to make Christmas cards. And I think she is just so cute with her little candy cane dancing. Anyway, let's put some more doodads because at Christmas, you need sparkly things at Christmas, right? Let's see. 
Is it a green? Some green ones. Like this. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some Christmas cards mailed off soon. I've got to keep make some more. I don't have all the ones that I need. So, there's that. Okay, and we'll put some some red here and there. How about that? Mix in some red and green. I like red and green and not no judgment if you don't, but I love traditional red and green Christmas colors. And of course, the plaids with gold and blue and all the colors mixed in. Uh, I'm, a, I'm that kind of person. Anyway, I think it turned out kind of cute here. She's just a dancing and she's got her a peppermint stick for old Saint Nick hanging on the Christmas tree. Anyway, another song I don't know if I can sing because we don't know what, I don't know what I can and can't do on YouTube with copyrights. I don't want to get in trouble. So, um, anywho, this is my little happy, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas card. If you know someone who likes hippos, if you know someone who likes that song, uh, really gets excited and happy this time of year. This would be really cute. I will have these on the Etsy store. I, if you could please, uh, like I say, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, Pinterest. Uh, Tammy Paper Smiles is all there. If you like this video, um, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. You have a great day. I'll be back in a few days. I've got another one I'm working on for the end of the week. Um, just trying to do all kinds of uh, Christmas. I just love Christmas, so I'm going to do all kinds of fun Christmas cards and show y'all. Again, get out there and do a nice gesture. And be creative. Find a way to be creative. God bless. You take care. See you later. See you next time. Bye.